So you're the kelp that washed ashore from the wreck of the Exeter. Skellock may see potential in you, but all I see is a would-be pirate with salt in their breeches. Tell me, what does the pirate king see in someone as ragged as yourself? Careful your determination is not steered by Skellock, but by your own free will. Cunning is a pirate's true compass. Remember that. I expect you'll be wanting a pet on the back, treasure in your boots, and John Skellock's warm embrace. Ha! Saint Anne would sooner slit your throat than be called your paradise. I can build you the mightiest ship in the Indian Ocean, like I did for Skellock with his Margareta. But how you steer it into the waves is up to you, Captain. I build ships, yes, but I don't like to... A pirate steers their own ship, but how it fares in a monsoon depends on its maker. Visit my friend, Zane, the carpenter, and he will help you craft the tools needed for harvesting shipbuilding materials. Thank you. Come back again. Ujambo, you have been floating on a splinter of luck so far. To carve a reputation here, you must get your hands bloody. It's the pirate way. You are eager. I like it. But be careful. The blood you spill is not your own. We can help each other. You bring me quality materials and I'll make you the best tools on the Red Isle. That way, both our names will grow. Working with my hands is relaxing. Asante! Prepare to engage the enemy! That mouth was my left there! Left out! Let this running win! That's some fine timber, Captain! Another fool who will lead others to their death. Do you think that's not it? 
Do you have business for me? I was worried you would not make it back. Continue like this, mate, and fortune will surely come your way. You are one step closer to securing your own vessel. You have come many leagues since searching for scraps on the coast. If you have the silver, I will gladly sell you designs stolen from mercantile docks. With the right materials, you can build a ship to rival their best. Hurry before your ship sails away. If Skerlock vouches for you, then we can do business. Men of war have over 100... your own and a shoreline calling to good fortunes. Speak to Thomas the blacksmith next. Unless you plan on ramming your vessel into the next companion boat, he will build you cannons to sink your enemies instead. I normally wouldn't give a nobody like you the steam off my piss on a good day. But I saw your ship's got nothing sticking out of her gum ports. Listen, surviving in pirate wars demands you swim with sharks. If that chills your blood, paddle off to your backwater pond. The extra crash has left us short on supplies. The company knows this, so they're squeezing us tighter. Bring me supplies and I'll build you weapons to skewer those frogs. Before you can take a bite out of the company, you'll need to have teeth. Right now, you're toothless. You need provisions. You'll have to get them yourself. Now, get cracking, mate. If you want to find me, it won't be at the tavern. Bad things happen when I get assholed with whiskey. Don't go drowning in a mud puddle. How fair is your day, pirate? I do miss Bristol. Devils and blacksmiths like fire.
These furry cannons, they'll pierce through those dainty company hulls. So, you got your decks scrubbed, cannons swabbed, and your loins girded. Good. It's time you rumbled with the company ships. The cocky pricks keep helping themselves to my iron. Blast them to bits. Could use more repair kit, Captain. The sea calls, Captain. Shall we answer? Captain, we setting off?
If metal work is what you need, those frogs barely put up a fight, eh? You did good, mate. Tales of your victory grow taller with every talent. Now you've impressed the other parts in St. Anne. They're looking to deal with you. I've also got more jobs if you're up to it. <laughs> 